What about the art that uh, we have uh, today here? We are representing quite a variety of artists. We have um, very traditional style acryl, modern from after millennial. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, super contemporary works uh, <laughs> that are with new materials. We have a style that comes more from uh, French, Provence, uh, Valley, more like um, village style paintings that can uh, stay also in maybe smaller towns as we are in uh, such town. Not so New York or no. um, mm -hmm. super big cities. We have um, paintings that are heritage. They are from a personal collection. And they are from 70s, 80s, so they kind of uh, fit the period that the house were built. Back then, probably, they were like super modern. Yeah, they were and all over the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we have them as already an uh, old collection and as a heritage. And we will think, uh, is it good to, to place it in this kind of modern family mm -hmm. uh, style? And what else? We have the, the paintings that we have in your house as well. Of course, we can play uh, with yeah. them. And one quite big that, that we will show how and explain how it can work on a totally different manner. Yeah. <laughs> Just as a composition, <laughs> not so much as a yeah, solo strong standing piece uh, of art. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are your first impression of the art that we have? Yeah, well, what is super fun is that it's really a, a mix of, uh, of, of styles and types of art. So that's really nice to experiment a bit because now you have the case that we were just talking about, that you have this already existing collection and then you have your home and you're like, okay, where am I going to put this? What first stands out for me is that there is this more heritage collection and then uh, we already talked about uh, this a little bit before is that you really have a... Uh, a difference in the more feminine paintings and the more masculine paintings. So you can really see a difference in how the brush is no used. No gender offense here. It's no, just not the, at the all. Fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's also more about like the feeling. Uh, the, the the shapes of the, uh, the the paintings are just feeling more feminine, and the other ones are feeling more masculine. That's the thing. Um, but they they already blend in because you have this you can see and feel that they are from the period that your house was built in. So this could fit in like pretty much on any wall. And what is nice about this is that uh, they are a bit smaller. We have a bit larger works here, but also a bit smaller works. So you make could make like a single standing piece of this, but also a collage. So if you would group them together somewhere uh, and play with with the color on the wall, there are actually some here yellow and bluish colors in there which could work super nice together uh, especially when you put them on one of the bluer walls then the blue in the paintings is like enhanced and and really standing out so that would could work uh, super nice i think i'm just gonna take some of them maybe like these two together if you would for example place them on this colored wall you could see that this and then you also have this super nice lamp over here, which is, I think, from the same period of time. And you can see that they, they just correspond with each other. And then also this is something totally different, but still the warm colors are in there. So this, this could work really, uh, really great over here. And what's nice about this style of um, paintings is that there, there is uh, a specific, like, form language in there but because there is so many color in there like even this hint of dark blue which is in your desk and then you have this warmer colors which is in the wood and then even a bit of brown in there which is corresponding with this so um, next to the fact that it fits in with the uh, style of your home it's also fitting in with uh, all the furniture you have so this would be uh, really perfect and and then it's in this in this corner but even like next to this this is actually the wall that we were talking about before if it would hang somewhere over here it really talks with the already existing architecture that's in your home 
it could even be like some playful collage. Oh, that looks amazing. Like hanging as a bigger piece over here because this, this wall is actually quite big. It has the same color as over there. Um, so if you would place like these two, like here, they're kind of <laughs> floating around because of their size. And this is of course just some fast collage, but it's, yeah. it's, it's nice to first like place it on the ground and then, uh, and then of course after this you try it out on the wall, but now I'm just stucking it there. Yeah. So you can see what I mean. And then, yeah, you could play a bit with this too, because you could like line them like this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you want to make it a bit more playful, it could also be like this. This is great stuff, by the way, to also try it out before you yeah. nail it on the <laughs> wall. <laughs> to make it a bit more like this. But even if you have like a lot of them, it's almost like you could because we have a lot of them actually the collection is very big it's over 700 pieces yeah that's <laughs> like, i could it, it it would be fantastic if you would like wallpaper the wall with this yeah. like have a huge collection on your uh, so it almost because now it's really like a collage mm -hmm. on the wall and then it would all almost be like a pattern of all of these paintings hanging there so that's also really nice like like a really big volume of art on your wall and do you think that it will go uh, with with the with the style? Like in the past, in eighties, let's say people weren't so brave about the art, and they mm -hmm. would rather just have one. Yeah, it would probably have been like this, and then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> like one of the outfits, yeah, exactly. and then yeah. But now I think it it looks really like matching can go yeah it's the picture it's more temporary to make a collage of it because i think this whole collage thing is something that's from the like past five or ten years that 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 came into interiors and before that it was more like okay you hang one piece of art like one big painting or uh, or even like one smaller one like like you have over here um and not so much a group of of paintings together. Maybe maybe if you were like daring, <laughs> you would hang two together. But that was it. <laughs> and about the frames, uh, we have one option here, like for maybe matching. Um, yeah. The gray color. Yeah, it could be this one. I mean, it can be with the more modern frame. It's yeah. Not necessary to go for the golden one. <laughs> yeah, it could it could definitely be something oh, like this. this. Looks fantastic! Yeah. But yeah, but I, I think what, what works nice with this is something a bit more uh, like wooden or something yeah, with a with a with a warm feeling because if you would take like a, a plastic one, it would it kind of would feel out of place. Maybe yes. I should should oh, use this one then. Yeah. Then you can see it. It feels like a, a kind of a weird contrast with this high gloss uh, <laughs> frame. Yeah. Yeah. So now you have these two styles, totally different styles that are too, it's, it's almost like it's too close. I understand why black might go good, but not plastic. Yeah, it's not. Black wood, yeah. yes. Yeah, maybe the, plastic, wood, the wood could work. Yeah, we have a wooden one over here, so then you can actually see the difference. Ah, this is so okay. That this would be fine. Yeah, yeah. but... It's still a bit not so cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also too too heavy for ah, this. By the way, you can try with this. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Just for a comparison. Yeah, sure. Maybe. Okay. That looks oh, yeah. nice. That's right. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Yeah, now the frame is not like stealing attention from mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. from the painting, right? Yeah. So yeah, then I'm gonna take this off. And just show the other yeah. style. Yeah, so now we can change the styles. So we're gonna try oh, to... There is so much to play with it. Like, yeah. I, I think yeah, that definitely. to be a creator is the best work and to be a interior <laughs> designer is the second best work. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna show you this other style that's over there. Uh, and then I was actually talking about the colors, right? Because this is a totally different style. Yeah, but because of the colors, yeah, yeah, I think you can see it really beautiful like this. 
because it's together with this blue textile you have over here, it's already a great match. Um, and then you also have this blue greenish color on the wall, which is matching. So this could be a standalone piece, um, but definitely grouped more to this side. If you would hang it all alone on the wall, it would kind of swim around yeah. and feel out of place. But if you group it together clo close enough to the textile and to, uh, to your lamp over here, which also has these colors in here, it could work alone. It could also be super nice as a, as a collage. Yeah, absolutely. And especially if you place um, art with glass, uh, not on um, a wooden bar, yeah. uh, then you should be very careful on what kind of corner you are placing it. Because right now, we, as we said, we have like one whole wall that is actually a glass wall. Yeah. And then all the reflection goes back to the painting. So much darker corner will do better for the glass. Yeah, sure, definitely. Great.